say a lot. King Judah, slick grit the ruler. No eye patch, I can see straight through the darkness with my eyes closed. Everything that's on my mind, only God knows. One way to the kingdom, ain't no side door. Right, shalom, family. Most high Christ bless. Officer Yehoshua here with IUIC Virginia. All right, now we out here at Old Dominion University for the 2022 homecoming. 2022 homecoming. Man, Esau got a band going on, but they ain't got that salt, man. They ain't got that salt. Pan the camera, take a look. Esau moving, they ain't got no rhythm. They don't do it like Jake do it. All right, I'm here at Old Dominion University for Cuts from the Streets. Who do I got with me today? Uh, you got Bleak right here. Blake. You got Vaughn right here. You got Jimmy right here. Big Country, David Compton. Mike. And Sean. What brings you out to ODU this weekend? We go here. We both go here. Okay. Yeah, we both freshmen here. We both freshmen here. All right. Both freshmen here. Right. Um, well, I go here, so um, we're just here for a whole co week just to have fun. Homecoming week. All right. Same. Well, it was an event that's been, you know, coming along since it's homecoming week and everything. It's like a big event that's going on right now with the football team and everything. It's a big game, you know. Get the dub. Get the what? Get the dub. What, what's the dub? The W. The, the W. Okay, I'm, I'm old. I ain't no dub. The W. I got it. I got it. I got it. Coming festivities. Okay, all right, what up? Homecoming, you know, spend time around my people. All right, kick it with the people. You know, just just, just see a nice, a nice, um, a nice area, you know, the vibes and just, pos just positivity. Just all. Nice area, nice vibes, good vibes, good people. Vaughn, why you left? <laughs> BC or uh, PWIs, right? Are they, do they, how do they, do they help black people? And if so, how? I mean, not necessarily. They just treat us like every other student, you know? They don't get, I don't really see any, I don't see a lot of programs like this little area, this is about it in this, in this building. You know, it's really small. So they treat us like any other students. Okay, but they gave us, they gave us this area right here, though. All right. Yeah. I think, I mean, they just treat everybody the same. Right. It's not like one race is better than another. I think they just try and treat everybody the same, really. That's all That's all they try and do. Uh, that's a hard question. Um, uh, I don't know. I feel like today they're trying to incorporate, like, black, more black groups and stuff in PWIs, but I feel like it's just starting to come out just now and not, like, like back when it should have. I mean, I don't really know. I'm not gonna lie, I don't. But I see more, um, more groups and stuff. Like she was saying, of more organizations that are African, well, like black people, and yeah. Hmm, that's like a hard question because there's not a lot of. Um, Involvement with just our community. I mean, like, yeah, everyone comes together for events and everything. You see most of your, you know, race and everything at that event, but there's not like a lot of, you know. And you ain't got a sugar coated. We ain't doing nothing for the black community. <laughs> yeah, no, we're not. Okay, MRI is not doing anything at all for the black community. Y'all hear that? Y'all hear that? Okay, all right. So maybe we'll fix that. Um. Well, you know, being where I was at for a little while, Radford. Uh, as far as communications wise, that's my uh, media studies and everything. That's my area. So it wasn't too much. In, it didn't get too much into that, to be honest with you. But you know, possibly just because of classes I was taking and everything, that could have played a part in it. Who's the HBCU teaching that we are? Well, really, just teaching us about our history, like how we come, how we came up, and the uh, the uh, obstacles we went through to, to get where we are today. And uh, what I was trying to say was, but uh, well, uh, last year I went to a PWO, I went to uh, Marywood. It, it was in uh, Pennsylvania, and like. 
we, we didn't really talk about African Americans. It was just, it was a you know Christian school. We barely you know what I'm saying. But now me going to Elizabeth City State, I know more about all right, my people or culture where we come from. So that's that's why Elizabeth City State I like it more because it, it gave me a, a better education about academics and our people. Okay, so it sounds like the PWIs will give you the most money to get you there. But then once you get there, they want you to assimilate in the white society. They don't want to talk to you about who you are as a people. I mean, basically just like us overcoming everything. It's not too much that's, that's really being said about just us being who we are, trying to establish ourselves. People take it as like violence the way we act out, but it's like it's been going on for so many years. So it's like us speaking out is it's kind of like hindering them because it's the way we're, we're going about it. I think ODU does the best supporting the black community out of a lot of other schools. We are also number one in black community research coming from like... You know, it sounds like we all agree, right? Standing here that ODU helps the black community. It does. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, that, Absolutely. How so? Big country. Uh, I mean, so uh, I'm in a fraternity, of course, and uh, you know, the... What, what, what are they called? Uh, the black fraternities the p p p you got you got alpha uh, i'm not in a fraternity so i really don't know the fraternities that well but either way odu does support all that the black community black lives matter we're the best school with it you know you know we we come here man and everyone is just so loving together it doesn't matter what and we're here we're rocking and rolling man and you know what one love baby that's all it is one okay. love one love one love all right so PWIs, right? You attend Old Dominion University, right? To attend a PWI opposed to an HBCU. All right, so I was actually choosing between NSU and here. And when I was looking at, because I'm my major is cybersecurity, and I was looking at that, and I was like, oh, ODU has a better cybersecurity, so that's why I came. My major is aerospace engineering, and I like to. I want to work with plans when I get older, and no HBCUs I know of has that like has anything to do with. Um, planes or being in the air, you know, so I chose here. Okay, so it sounds like it was uh, the, the, the course, the coursework yeah. or the curriculum that that uh, that locked you in. It wasn't more so like, oh, I chose to go to a PWI over at HBCU. It was more of what the school offered. So for what I want to study, it had a program. Um, it's not too far away from home. And yeah, I didn't choose it just because it was a PWI. It was a school because one, they offered the most money. So like I would be leaving here without a lot of debt. And two, I didn't really know if I wanted to come to college. And it's not that far from home. So I felt like this would be a safe choice for me so yeah there's so much you know battle between like competition with our own family and it's just I'm not for it but I mean like you know finding your finding your niche in that it's like difficult but here it's like more diverse so it's like you know get to find new people new races from different nations and everything like that okay so meeting different people from different races different cultures it's more realistic like real life you're not gonna be around just your people right so I feel like you're getting a more authentic experience at a mixed race institution honestly they offer me the most money like scholarship wise so that's why I took that route they gave you the most money so it was it was, um, it was cheaper for you to go to a PWI than an HBCU. In my case, it was. I didn't want to go there. I chose ODU because I like diversity, man. My both of my parents are Mexican, immigrants from Mexico, so I chose ODU because I felt most comfortable here. You know. That's a good question. So here's here's the thing about that. I applied to schools. I got an ODU. But here's the thing I like about ODU. It's very diverse, and we've already like spoken on that. Mike Mike said something about that. The whole community is like, it's like a family, man. You walk around campus, you see it. It's a, it's a family. Everyone everyone loves the school. I love the school. I've been here for what four years and counting. I love it, man. And you see all all the diversity and all this, and it's great. So that's why I got to say. Answer your question. Yes, sir. What when, is this school over HBCU? No, a PWI. So why did you choose a predominantly white institution over a historically? Predominantly white, man. We're, we're, 
we're half and half because that's why I chose it. Well, I can't go to HBCU. Let's be real. If I walk to HBCU campus. Listen, listen, listen. At ODU, there are more white people than any other race, right or wrong? You got whites, you got Asians, you got... Well, I understand that. We understand that. So we know that there's all races of people here. What I'm speaking of is just the majority, right? It could be it could be a majority if it was a majority of Hispanics and it would be major it would be predominantly Hispanic, right? Right? So it's it's a it's definitely diverse. Definitely a diverse school. I chose ODU because you got statistic? What you got? All right, so racial diversity at Old Dominion University, white forty seven percent, black twenty seven percent, Hispanic seven percent, Asian four percent. So this is why we say that I'd say that's more diverse than any other university in the state of Virginia. But like, Sean, Sean, right? Mike, I'm sorry. Sean, Mike, big country, right? Mike, so Mike, ODU, statistically speaking, is a predominantly white university, right? Right? We can't argue that. We can't argue that. So when, so this question isn't specifically for ODU, right? It's it's for all predominantly white institutions, right? So when you think of me asking you what made you choose a predominantly white institution over a historically black college or university I'm not talking about why did you choose ODU right I'm, the, I'm you understand what I'm saying I'm saying why did you choose a predominantly white institution over a historically black college it's better than going to fucking Virginia Tech or JMU or UVA like I'm gonna choose I'm gonna choose ODU every fucking time because you know what it's family here man and that's us and you know the diversity makes us who we are and you know what I'm gonna keep rocking and rolling here Forever, I'm gonna be fucking six years old giving money back to the school. Cause I, big country, like he want to help you. Like you got something to say? So, ODU was like my next choice. It was Hampton, ODU, and uh, college uh, Southwest. But ODU accepted me, so that's just why I came. You know, uh, like you were saying, uh, I know Hampton is historically black. You know, stuff like that. I didn't get in there, so. So therefore, I was forced to go to ODU. Um, since you've been here, I know it's only been a few months. What has the PWI taught you about your identity? Um, I kind of knew my identity a little before coming here, but um, I don't know. I feel like made me think about more like me as a person and what I personally like yeah all right what has this PWI taught you about your identity um, I feel like it hasn't really taught me anything because like I'm really coming into myself so I don't really look at the school as like defining me or like how I what I identify as so I just focus on myself pretty much I don't really you know worry about everything else what do you mean by that? Like, what do you mean? Like, who do they teach that, that I am, according to the Bible? Like, who am I? Soy. Fuck white people, dude. We're going and rolling. I'm Mexicano, man. Roll Mexicano. I feel like it depends on... Jesus is black, dude. We've, like, people like to say Jesus is white. No, he's from fucking the Mid Middle East. He's... He you know what pisses me off so much is people are like, Jesus is white, Jesus is white. No, he's fucking not, dude. He's not fucking white, you know? He's person of color, man, and that's who Jesus is, and that's the guy who I praise, and, you know, I'm keep praising him, because there's one man who looks after me, and he's the guy who's looking after me and my family, no matter what. How does he look? I just told you, man, he's a person of color. He's not white. Is he black with, like, an afro? I don't know. But I've never seen Jesus, but I know who he is, and I know he's a, he's POC, man, and you know what? He takes care of me and my family. My parents are both very religious. Yeah, so your question, you said, how does PWI, like, teach about stuff of your people, correct? Yeah, who, historically, historically, historically,
historically, PWIs teach that my people are who? Okay, well, at the same time, like, like, for example, I'm a business finance major. I took one year of history. You know, that's all I needed. That's all the history I needed. And it was World War II uh, reading or something like that. So, some BS like that. So that's all, like, the history that I went through. And, I mean... How do I say this? We didn't really like. Uh, of course, like there were people from different religions that we talked about, people of different races that we talked about, but we didn't really focus on one. We kind of just focus on the history of World War Two. Like it wasn't really divided up into groups. We just focused. On so if you could answer this, if you could answer this in a few words, right? Who would you say that PWIs? teach that we are who are we according to like who are we historically who are we just a few words I mean I don't I don't got anything huh? I don't got anything you don't got anything no sir built a nation man who is, built a, who is it built a nation you we made, built a nation you made us who we are today now okay so slaves I wouldn't I'm not white man, so fuck white people. <laughs> but you guys you guys added culture to our nation that made us who we are today and like I said about Old Dominion man, I chose this school because of diversity man. This made me who I am today. This is why I chose ODU because it's great. We have diversity. And it's not whitewashed, man. Like we have everything going on here, man. It's fucking awesome. And you know what? I'm going to be forever grateful for this school, like I told you. I'll keep coming back here in the next 30 years, sending money to here, because we make sure that our school is great for one reason, diversity. Okay, big country. Just a few words. Who would you say that we are as a people? I mean, man, that's such... Okay, that's such an odd question, because who... We are as a people, I mean, as I see it personally, I mean, we are kind of one. Like, I don't really see anything, which I know it's such a hard and weird question to answer because, like, I fucking see everybody as one. I know everybody goes through their own things, like different religions, different races, different everything. Everybody goes through their own own type of thing, which... Back to the media real quick. So, Kanye West, we all familiar with Kanye, right? Yeah. Kanye West made a tweet recently. He said that he can't be anti-Semitic because the real Jews are black. What y'all think about that? The real Jews are black. That's what Kanye said. What you think? Uh, it's deep, you know. He loses me sometimes. Sometimes I follow what he's saying. Uh, I don't have too much to speak on it, to be honest. It's a, it's a lot going on right now, what he's saying. You just got to kind of, you know. Fil you filter the good with the bad. Yeah, okay. Balance it out. Balance it out. Balance it out. Okay, who else got a thought? The real Jews are black. That's what Kanye said. I mean, I, ain't, I can't really like 100 I ain't going to say I, I, I disagree, uh, disagree with him. Can't say you disagree. I can't even say I disagree because, I mean, a lot of black people, Akron Americans started a lot of stuff so that, that other people are taking accountability for. So, I mean, it just really goes to down like, I mean, look, once you look at your history, you'll find out, you know what I'm saying, a real true answer. So. Okay, I like that. I like that. What you think? I ain't gonna lie, like, I, I barely listen to Kanye West for real. That's why I said I, I, I ain't even know he said that. I didn't have a be Okay, gotcha. 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 All right, next question. What, what do y'all think about the Bible? Y'all believe in the Bible? Yes, no. Yes, yes, yes. You did? You, you what? I grew up in Catholic. I grew up in the church? Pentecostal. I was AME. Okay. I don't really know what I think about that. Um, have, you ever, have you ever heard that before? I mean, God came from Jerusalem, so, and people, like, say that God is supposed to be white and stuff, so I guess what Kanye meant by that was, since God is from Jerusalem, he has to be black. That's correct. What you think about that? 
Um, <laughs> I mean, I agree with what she was saying about um, God having to be black and all that, but I don't really look deep into stuff about like religion because I'm not a religious person. So, I mean, not everyone is a, not everyone from our race is a Jew. We can't like just put like a title on some body that's not what they are. You know what I mean? So it's like you can't really say that. So you can't say that. Okay. So, uh, what would you say that the Jews look like? The real Jews. How do they look? I feel like they. Well, I mean, it's like a mixture because there's not like a one race looking type of Jew. So it's just like a mixture of races. You don't know like where they come. It's mainly where they come from okay. and not like if they're like, you know, African-American. Now, let's read a passage out of the Bible. And I want y'all to tell me what y'all think about this passage compared to what Kanye said. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 14 and verse 2. Uh -huh. Judah mourneth. So we're talking about Judah. The word Jew is short for what? Judah. Jew. So to be a Jew means Judah, one of the 12 tribes of Israel. Read that. Judah mourneth, uh -huh. and the gates thereof languish. They are black unto the ground. So the Bible just said that the real Jews are what? Black to the ground. Black to the ground. Black to the ground. Right. So Kanye just said he can't be anti-Semitic because the real Jews are black. Is Kanye tripping, or is Kanye saying the same thing that the Bible said? Yeah, I mean, basically he be saying right stuff it's just the way he come about it yeah okay the delivery the approach he give it off wrong like he, he like he like he know what he's saying but sometimes people think it's offense but you know he's got to really like really listen to what he's saying so you got to filter it out like the brother was saying right i feel like his, his bigger picture it makes a lot of sense but it's the in between people get lost okay i like that i like that i like y'all brother's perspective all right so we're good on that thank you for that all right so the, pe the people want to know are we the real jews I mean, the Bible said it. I mean, I can't. Mm. What the Bible said? The Bible said we're gonna. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the Bible said the real Jews are what? Black to the ground. So, so-called black people are we the real Jews? Yeah, we the real. We the real Jews. We the real Jews. Right? For sure, yeah. For sure. So according to the Bible, we so-called blacks are what? The real Jews. The real Jews. And that's what the people want to know. Is Kanye tripping or is he saying facts? Is he spitting facts? That uh, he's going to go death con. <laughs> yeah. He's going to go death con three on Jewish people. Yeah. What did he say about the Jews? He said that he can't be anti-Semitic because black people are Jew too. Right. That's it right there. So did y'all hear what he said? Say it again. Black people People can't be anti-Semitic because they Jew too. You hear that? That's what Kanye West said. That's a loaded statement in my opinion. He said black, I'm paraphrasing, right? He said black people are Jews. That's facts. He says that's facts. Well, I think you can be any ethnicity or race and worship any religion you want to be. You don't have to be white to be Christian or Middle Eastern to be Muslim or black to be Christian or Catholic. I think it's all up to interpretation on who you believe in. Well, when he said that, he wasn't saying that this is their religion. He was saying that the people... Right, yeah. You understand? Yeah, he was, Kanye just be off the meds. He was saying that the... <laughs> he just, he's just off the meds. He's just off the meds. No. So, so wait. He's a, no, he's Kanye, Kanye be speaking the truth. He just be exposing everybody on all their bullshit, in my opinion. Okay, so he, he says Kanye's a liar. You say he's, he's speaking the truth, he's right? What do, you, what do you say? I think Kanye's just in it for the clout, bro. I think he's just in it for the clout. <laughs> all right, so hold on. He, said, he says Kanye is West is a liar, right? He he says that he's speaking the truth, right? Exposing everybody. I mean, he's saying what's going on with the Kardashians. Fuck him. Why, why, does, why do the Kardashians have money, in my opinion? All right, and then he said, what's your name again? Connor. Connor says that, say what you said again? Connor's just in it for the clout. He's just in it for the clout. What you got? I keep his name right. I think Connor is. He just speaks bullshit sometimes. Yeah, look, look. He's had clout. Yeah, he has. Uh, he has as a youngin and like growing up, but like he just says shit to say shit, man. Okay, so now did you know that what Kanye West said is found in the Bible? It's supported, supported right there in the Bible. Did you know that already? I didn't know that. Didn't know that the Bible said the Jews were black. Didn't know that. What about you, sis? Did you know that? No. You didn't know that the Bible said the Jews were black. No. All right, so I assume that. If you didn't know the Bible said the Jews were black, 
by default, you would think that they're white. Am I right about that? No, I didn't assume that they were a certain color. Um, yeah, I didn't assume that they were white. Did they have? Did you assume that they had color at all? Um, well, yeah, just depending on the fact that God was from Jerusalem. I kind of like figured that he would. Okay, and Jerusalem is Northeast Africa, right. right? So those people are black people. The Bible tells us what the Jews look like. We like to read a passage to you, and then you just give us your thoughts on what you think that means. Is that all right? Yes. Okay, all right. So let's read the book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, verse 2. It talks about the Jews. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, and verse 2. Judah mourneth. So let's, let's start with the first word. It says, Judah mourneth. Do you know where the term Jew Jew is a short abbreviated term Do you know what word or what term That actually comes from I don't think so Okay so it actually comes from Judah So Judah So Jew is short for Judah okay. Alright keep reading Judah mourneth uh -huh. And the gates thereof languish They are black unto the ground Okay so the book where you read about The history of the Jews says that the tribe of Judah Is black like the ground. What do you think about that? They're talking about his um, skin color and race. Right, right. So the Bible says that the real Jews are black. Are, are black. Are black. Did you know that that's in the Bible what Kanye West said? Because not only did he say that he can't hate Jews because he's a Jew, but he said that Jews are black. I'm Jewish. Okay, are you black? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so in your Jewish through your father or your mother? My mother. All right. So we want to show you something. All right. We want to show both of y'all something. All right. But before I get too far ahead of myself, right. we got to stick to the script. Right. <laughs> so the Jews are black. Mm -hmm. Did you know that? Yes. Okay. Did you know that? No. Okay. All right. So we're going to show that to you in the Bible. We're going to show it for you. We're going to show it to you. I know you know, mm -hmm. but we're going to show it to him in the Bible. All right. Give me Jeremiah chapter 14. We're going to read it real quick. Uh, yep, verse 2. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 14 and verse 2. Judah mourneth, and the gates thereof languish. They are black unto the ground. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. All right, read it again. Jer Judah mourneth, and the gates thereof languish. So the Bible says Judah mourneth. Jew comes from. Jewish. Nope. Jew comes from. <laughs> Alright, listen good. We good There you go It comes from Judah It comes from Judah Yeah, you, you, you had it Read it again Sure Judah mourneth And the gates thereof languish so The Bible says Judah mourneth Right the Jew comes from Judah It's short for that Right And the Bible is talking about A people that's in mourning A people that's oppressed Right A people that's in the lowest state A people that is uh, uh, is, is renowned for struggle when you read the Bible, this whole book, when it's talking about the Jews, this is the 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 the, the background that's associated with them. Wherever you go, right? That's that's what you find when you read the Bible. And then it tells you that they were what color? They are black unto the ground. And the Bible tells you what color they are. Right. They black. Right there in the Bible, right? So I know you already knew that. I'm going to show you something that you didn't know, all right? Get number chapter one. All right, I'm going to show you something. Now, uh, what's your nationality? Mm, like, like, what do you mean, nationality? Like, like, what nation do you come from? America. Yeah, but what nation? Like, what, what's your father? What, is he considered to be a black man? Is he a white man? Is he Hispanic? Black man. Your father's a black man, right? Okay. What, which, what nation do you come from? I'm African American. All right, so you black. We both call ourselves black today, right? Now, your mother. What nation does she come from? She's she's just American. Uh, she's from where is she? What nation? She's American. She from the so-called white race, or she from she is okay. What about your mother? What, what nation does she come from? She's African American too. All right, African American too. Now I want you to we're gonna go back to the Bible. We're gonna read the scripture. All right. Numbers chapter 1 verse 18 The book of Numbers chapter 1 and verse 18 And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month And they declared their pedigrees So we're reading about the congregation and how they were brought together And what's being declared 
is who they come from, what their race is, right? Just like you have uh, an animal, the pedigree of that of that dog, right? Yeah. Right. So that's what's being determined here of the people. How did they determine their pedigrees? And they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers. No, their mothers. After their fathers. So what does that mean for that child? Is there such thing as a mixed child? No, not according to that. Because your pedigree is determined by who? Your father. Your pedigree is determined by who? Your father. Your father. So you are what who is? My father. Your father. Your who? My father. Your father. Did you know that? I didn't. Did you know that? I did not, but what? Did you know that? The Bible says a lot of shit that's not true, in my opinion. You know how we know the Bible is a true book? Okay. History. Right. And prophecy, right? Because history is something that what's history? History is the study of past events. Past events, right? Factual, right? Yeah. What's prophecy? What's prophecy? The predictions of future events. Right. So what happens when prophecy becomes history? Damn. Uh Time has passed. When prophecy becomes history, time has passed. The prophecy becomes true, and then the prophecy becomes factual. So is the Bible a true book? If I can show you that the the prophecies written has become your history? Yeah. Right? Yeah. All right. All right. Do not reach out to 28. <laughs> Um, Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68, all right? This is a prophecy of the Jews, the Israelites, right? This is the prophecy of, of them. Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So what we're reading is the words of Moses. You remember he was a prophet. These were the words that... The Lord told Moses And Moses told the people The people that he was speaking to Are the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans Right? When you read the Bible You call them the Israelites Or the Jews Same thing What did the Bible say What happened to them? And the Lord shall bring thee Into Egypt again With ships Read it again from the top Verse 68 And the Lord shall bring thee Into Egypt again With ships The Lord said He's going to bring you Into Egypt With ships Right? Egypt is synonymous with slavery, with bondage, right? That's what that's synonymous with because the children of Israel, when they came out of Egypt, y'all remember them being delivered by Moses? What were they doing in Egypt? They were slaves. They was in slavery, right? Moses did what? He fleed. Freed his people. Now, now listen to what Moses is telling them, saying people he freed. He's saying, look, if you don't listen to the Lord, this is what the Lord is going to do to you, right? Come on. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Nope, read it again from the top. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. He says this time, um, you're going to go back into slavery. He said, you're going to go back into slavery with a train. With ships. With a plane. With ships. With cargo slave ships. It's how the children of Israel would go into slavery this time. Right? That was the prophecy. Right. At the time, it was a prophecy. Now, what do we call it? History, the slave trade. No question, right? Yeah. History, right? Mm -hmm. All right, let's, re let's keep reading. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. That where you came from, you're not going to see it no more, ever again. Where you came from? You're never going to see it again, right? A lot of a lot of pe black people today say we come from Africa, right? You been back to Africa? No. You been back to Africa? No. What did the Bible say? By the way, by the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Where you, your homeland? You're not going to see it no more. Because you're going to be brought over here on slave ships, right? Some of us might go back for vacation or something like that, but we don't have no roots there no more. But we know we came from there. That was prophecy back then. Prophecy, right? Now it's history, right? Keep reading. And there ye shall be sold. So when you get off the ships, right, you're going to be put on auction blocks, 
And what shall happen to you? And there ye shall be sold. Shall be sold like merchandise, like animals. To your friends? To your friends? Let's see what the Bible says. Unto your enemies. What does the Bible call the people that did that? Unto your enemies. Do enemies put people into slavery with yokes of iron, or do friends do that? Enemies. Enemies. Right? What are we reading? History. Are we reading prophecy or are we reading history? I'm confused. We're reading history. Right. So this is why we believe the Bible is a true book. Because you can we just showing you one account. We can go through many accounts in the Bible. Uh, back then it was prophecy. Prophecy. It's going to happen. What's that what's that verse called? What's that verse called? The book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty eight and verse sixty eight. Right? So that's what we're reading. We can go to many scriptures in the Bible and show you history back then is prophecy I'm sorry prophecy back then is history is history now that's how we know tell me where you are Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68 but did you know that the Bible said that what verse is I did not I, I do not give me a verse on that yes 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 please come verse on that yes 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 I just want to fact check it. yep yep a lot of things that we can go through, through that little... no 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 yeah no, but just, did you read it alright so we're going to read the scripture tell them where you are the book of Jeremiah chapter 14 and verse 2 So we had the book of Jeremiah Chapter 14 verse 2 Alright all right. Come on all right. Judah mourneth So the term Jew Comes from where? Islam I, I really don't know man The term Jew Comes from where? Islam No where does the term Jew come from? What is it Rest. Where does it come from? Yeah it, Where does it come from? Um <laughs> Connor said it? I don't know I didn't say it Okay <laughs> well, it's, No? It's, like, it's from Israel It's like uh, It's from It's the type right. Judea. Judea right So read it again Judah mourneth So the Bible says that Judah mourneth Jew comes from the word Judah Right That's what it, It's short Jew is short for Judah That make good sense? Yeah, yeah. That's easy to understand right? Yeah, sure. Come on and the gates thereof language Says the gates thereof language Meaning the leaders You go look it up Tell you that the gates The heads of the city Were at the gates Right Yeah Going into the leaders Being in mourning They languish They're weak Right yeah. Talking about who Judah right Right Short for Jews Or Jew is short for Judah right Come on They are black What color are they They are black What did the Bible say They are black So the Bible says that the that Judah is black. Okay. We just read this? Like How is it? People? Well, yeah. Like the people? Like the people? Uh, We're going to read it again. Black? Read it again. Read it again from the top. I, I interrupted him a few times. Awesome. Let's read it again from the top. Judah mourneth, and the gates thereof languish. They are black unto the ground. The Bible says that the Jews are black. It's like the dirt. Are you guys are you guys like trying to like prove Kanye's point here or like wait where's your stance on this like what like what are you guys like I'm sorry I kind of like inter like just join the conversation like what is this whole thing about we'll, we'll get there but did you hear what the Bible said I, I saw it and I think that it's not just an eth it's it's a mix there's a mix of a lot of ethnicities and a lot of cultures going on inside of that statement and that there's you can't just Define that by a color It's just A lot of things Going on inside that With the ancestry Going on So we just read that The Jews were black Right or wrong Common. Uh, I don't know That's It's kind of Very vague statement There like well, the Bible Just cause I mean, Like I, the Bible I could I could jump in a pool of mud And my Like I would look black uh, Like is it Talking about Somebody's like Skin tone It doesn't uh, it's not, It doesn't really Tell you everything Judah We know Judah Is a tribe right It's one of the tribes Of Israel Okay. Right? We know that. We all know that, right? There's 12 tribes. One of those tribes is Judah, right? Mm -hmm. King Solomon. He was a Jew, right? Yeah. He was a Jew, right? Yeah, he was the king of the Jews. What tribe did he come from? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. He, Judah. He came from Judah. What color was Solomon? I was, well, I'm just guessing since he's from the Middle East, he would be Middle Eastern, like a little bit more brown. Not like black, but he would be like a brown color. So not black, but brown. White. Yeah. Like, All right. What color <laughs> What color is Solomon? Uh, he ain't white, though. I'll tell you that right now. He's not white. All right. He, he. You say he's not white. He says he's not black. He's brown. What do you think he is? 
Uh, probably a mix of a lot of races going on. Matter? Let's find out. Let's find out. Matter, yes, 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 yes. It does. No, I, no, I, I personally I don't think it does. I We're gonna, don't think it does. I think people should just be we, able to worship who the hell they want to be. We're not saying we're not saying that you can't. I, let's say I am white. You can tell that I am white. You got Song of Solomon? I was. Thank you. Let's say I was Muslim. Would you guys? Would people think of me differently? All right. If, Watch this. I, if I was, if I expressed Islam, I like it, bro. <laughs> If right. you guys express Islam We're just having a discussion if No We're just what is right. your point? Like, right. where, are, yeah, where does you stand? Right, right. What is your stance? Right. Well, you keep asking. I want to. I want to show you. Question. Like, I understand. This stance that you. I want to. I want to show you that the Bible says that Solomon was not brown. Because I just asked you the question. You said he was brown. You think Solomon was white. I'm gonna read it for you. Is that okay? Yeah. All right. But what, what, what verse? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it still? Yes. Tell me where you are. The Song of Solomon, chapter one and verse five. All right. I am black. I am what? I am black. This is the Song of Solomon. I am black, but comely. So comely means beautiful. He said he's black and beautiful. Okay. Who are we talking about? Read verse one. Verse one. The Song of Songs, which is Solomon's. So these are Solomon's words, right? Yeah. So King Solomon wasn't brown. He wasn't. You understand? Yeah. He was black. Just like you see us, he was, he was a black person. You understand? Well, it was just yeah, also probably. where they were in the world. You know, it's just where they were in the world. You know, like it's people from like the Middle East or like Northern Africa or Africa, the continent itself. They're going to be brown or, you know, you know, black. There's, so, there's white people in South Africa. Yeah. They've been there for a long time. The closest. Hold on, hold on. There's white people in South Africa. They've been there for a long time, right? Yeah. Are they, uh, hold, on. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just listen to me. There's white people in South Africa. They've been there for a long time, right? Yeah. Are they black now? Are they black now? No. No, they have a culture of 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 European imperialism. So, well, my point, my point is, the white people in South Africa are only there because it was like the British that colonized Southern Africa. But remember, but remember, my point is this: the reason I gave the South African example is because they they still white people though. Like they live in South Africa. It didn't listen. No, listen, listen. The environment didn't change their pigmentation. It didn't change who they are as a people. It didn't change their race because they live in Africa. Now. So why would that happen to Solomon or his people, the Jews today? Like, why would they be Jews, black Jews then, and today they are Caucasian Jews? That doesn't make sense. The, that the, doesn't make sense? At, well, you don't think that made sense? I don't know. I, I what do you mean? Wait, no, 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 no. Wait, whoa, bro. What do you mean? What do you... Wait, yeah. What do you mean that white people can't be Jewish? Is that what I said? It sounds like it. No, what it I'm sounds <laughs> like it sounds like you're saying that only black people can be Jews. What I'm telling you is that the Jews. You, there were millions of white people that died in the Holocaust that were Jewish. All right, listen, listen. Millions of people that were black that died in the Holocaust because they were Jewish. You quoted Kanye West perfectly. Can you please quote him again? I'm a little tired tonight, but when I wake up, I'm gonna go Defcon three on Jewish people. And then he was just like, "What?" Um, it's not I'm not anti Black people can't be Anti-Semitic Because they're Jew too Right So he said Black people are Jews What we're telling What we're telling you Is that the Bible Only tells you That the Jews are black It doesn't tell you Anything else Yeah but the Bible Was written what 2500 years ago well, You know uh, like okay, okay, okay. Things can adapt The, people can the Bible is written by man And we are all men here no, well, let, me, let me rebut you With this Alright God says that we have Free will Right That's one of the reasons Why he created us in perfect, perfect beings, correct? That we have the ability to think and to feel and to have emotion. Free will. People have the free will to express however they want spiritually. Right, but can I, can I free will myself to be Chinese today? Wait, what? Uh, no, because you're not from China. Thank you, right? So that's the point we're making. Yeah. The Bible says that the... You, the, you understand what I'm saying? The no, Bible... I, pick up, I, pick right. up, also, I, I smell what you're cooking, all, man. I smell what you're cooking. I also would say that a, a book written by men cannot be trusted off a book written by men. And, like, I guess, like, what you're trying to get at is that Kanye was correct in the standpoint of the tweet. That's that's because, like, that's why we're out here today, right? And Kanye, that's why we're out here today. It's a very spiritual right. guy. So, the Bible front to back, so, so we understand today that the statement that Kanye West made is substantiated with what? Fat. 
No. What? Fat. No. Facts from where? No. The Bible. Thank you. I would say, is, I, I would say opinionated because every man is opinionated and none of us are perfect out here and we are just making statements sometimes that we don't truly believe in but we're saying stuff that comes to mind. So whether <laughs> if, if it's fact or fiction doesn't matter, right? Because I the, wouldn't say that's fact. Right. Well, it is, but well, for the purpose of this conversation, it is, but for the purpose of this conversation, right? For the purpose, for the purpose of this conversation, what Kanye West, what Kanye West said is substantiated with the Bible. According to a book, we can all see that or plainly, right? Right. No, uh, God. Um, or anything. A book written by. We can men. all see. We can all see that plainly. According to the Bible, what Kanye West said is substantiated with the Bible. You understand that, right? A, a book and a book written by men, though. Doesn't matter. Kanye's a man, is he not? Doesn't matter. But like, Kanye's you a, got, is he not? Like, uh, Kanye is right in the standpoint of, of his tweet. You know, because that's what he believes in. He believes wholeheartedly in the Bible and the Lord of God, right? Yeah, I, I still don't think y'all understand what I'm saying. No, like, I feel like I do, though. I don't think you understand what I'm saying. The Bible says that the Jews are black. Whether you believe in it or you don't, it don't matter. It doesn't matter right? if they are or are. But, but the Bible says that. It says that. So, Kanye West. That you think that only black people were Jewish? The Bible says that the Jews are black. I didn't say anything about Jewish. It doesn't. I said the Bible says that the Jews, are, we just read it. So like Jew as in the Jew tribe, like the Judaism tribe. The real, or the, the Jews, the real Jews that we read about in the Bible. The real Jews. I guess that's where I'm confused. Are you talking about the religion of Judaism or the tribe Judea? No, the people, the, the people. 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 Yes, the, the people. people. Judea. Yes, the original pe the, yeah, those oh, people. Those yeah, no, people. Then I understand They're what black. you're saying. No, they were they were black because there were no white people in that area, bro. Like there was just they weren't colonizing that part. Like, I'm gonna ask you a question. The empires were the people. Behind. The people that we call. I'm gonna ask you a question. The people that we call Jewish and Israelis today, right? We call it. Listen, 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 listen. I, I get what you're saying. Let's all listen. Let's all listen. Let's all listen. We good? Yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Kind of locked in. Yeah, kind of locked. In. All right. So. Hard been locked. All right, all right, all right. So, the people that we call Jewish today, right? The people that we call Israelis today, right? Mm -hmm. The inhabitants of the land of Israel today, those people, right? Who are they? Um, they're Middle Eastern people. They are people. They are people. Are they the biblical Jews? No, no, no. They're not. No. The, the land was taken. They are now. humans. That's all that matters. All right. So, no. They're not. They're not. They're not. It, the, the land was given to them after World War II. The land was given to them from Britain. What does it matter? From after World War II and Jews. like after they're after dead. the Holocaust and everything, a lot of families traveled to Israel to re, re try to find their families. Right. Like that's there's a historical fact. Those are facts. Those are facts. I agree with that. Right. So we're talking about facts here. Facts would be that the transatlantic slave trade happened. Yeah. Hundred percent. It it did happen. All right. Facts would be that the Bible said that would happen to the Jews. It is. The Jews have not had a break in thousands of years. Like if we're talking about Jew Judaism, like as in the religion, like they have been they have been enslaved from the by the Egyptians, by the Romans. They've been crucified. Oh, did you hear what I just said? Listen, the, listen, listen. The Bible said that the Jews would go into slavery by way of slave ship. That's what the Bible said would happen to the Jews. The Jews. I'm talking about the tribe here, not the religion. I'm talking about the people. The people. Yes. And the people. People. Can we go back to the source of who sold who? So the Bible says that the Jews would go into slavery on slave ship. Their own people. Right? The That's what the Bible says. The Jews sold their own people. Like the kings of like Africa sold their own people to the white men to use as slaves. They traded them for like saw gold stuff. Who are the people that were sold into slavery? Um, black people. Right. So black people are who? Jews. Black people are the Jews. That's the that's why we out here, right? So that's the the, the point is this. Let me get my let me get let me get my point. All right. So so the yeah, shit, bro. All right. So so y'all y'all understand that, right? I understand. All right. So so. So, so who are, who are black people today? We who are we? Jew. We're the Jews. Who are we? Hey, you are Jewish. 
Jim. No. Jim. No. No. There's a difference now. Because who are the people in Israel? I would I would say Israel. they are humans. Israelites. Who, who, no, who are the people that's in Israel right now? Israelites. No, they're not. They don't call themselves that. They call themselves Israelis, right? Right. And then you got the Palestinians. Right. Yeah, they call themselves Israelis, right? Israelis. Right. They were they went to that land from the Israelites when they left Egypt. Are they the are they the true Jews that the Bible speak of? The people there right now? The people there right now. Right. Who who are? Who who are those people? Who who are the real Jews? The real Jews, I would say in your argumentation would be black. What does black people, matter? Right, right. You, you understand that, right? Yeah, but also at the same time, like I could if I wanted to be Jewish, like I could if I like Remember, that. we're not talking about we're not talking about can I be Chinese if I wanted to? No, did they, Oh yeah, you're talking about the tribe, not the religion. Judea tribe, yeah, yeah, not yeah. The I got you. What does right. matter? So listen, so the people that I mean, it matters. It matters. We'll get there later though, right? So the people Right. It matters. You know it matters. You know it matters. It makes you a better person internally. It makes you sound to other people. Right. So so the people dwelling in that land right now. Right? Yeah. Are not the real Jews. Is that right? Correct. Based off what we just spoke about, it's Correct. easy. It's common sense, right? Yeah. They don't fit the Bible prophecy. That land's been fought over right. for thousands upon thousands of years. And we're not here. We're not there fighting for a land right now. That's not the common. That's not what we're talking about. Yeah. We're just talking about who's who. Yeah, but you, you understand? You got to think about like when he's saying like the conquerors and the conquerees about like the shift in the people that live in the area. You know what I mean? So like when, so like we're not talking about that land. And anything that's going on over there because the people that's having that discussion are not the true people anyways you understand because we just we just learned that the Jews were black so are you saying that the land the Israelis that are living there now have taken the land from the traditional Judea tribe which would be black people you, you told me you told me that the land was given to them after World War II uh, I think you did you mention the Balfour Declaration the what the Balfour Declaration Oh yeah, that, that's right. What it was. That's the, you, you mentioned that. Yeah. Right. So yes, that land was they were placed. The people was placed there. They were given that land. Right. Yeah. That's what happened. Right. They that that that's not their land. You know that. That's not their land. No, but it's it's historically the land of the Jews. Yes, and the Jews are who. <laughs> The Judea tribe, but it's also the Jewish religion. It's no, the no, home. No. It's Who are the? Home with, it's home. With, it's home of the lands. Crowd. Lands always belong to people, right? Right. It always belongs to people. Does it matter where people live? Does it really the, the land of Germany, who does that belong to? Germans. No question. Right? Yeah. Is it any America belongs to Can I convert America. can I convert to that? Can I convert to I can I just become convert to I think you could. No, it's it's well, a it's can, a people. You can change you your can. citizenship. You, you can, can become a German. You can legally become a German. Now, is, that, is that your nationality though? Yes. It's not. It's not. It would be your citizenship. Right. right. It would be my citizenship. So, but the heritage of that of that land would always belong to who the germans yes the, so the heritage of israel belongs to who the judea tribe which is black people all right now what are, what's everybody gonna do tonight to have a good time to celebrate homecoming you mean like right after or like during maybe like right after maybe a little later i don't know this <laughs> This school be acting crazy sometimes, like going back to the Virginia Tech game, they set stuff on fire. After, after a win or a loss or what? After our W, like, I don't saw that. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, this is, we have PWI moments. Yeah, what moments? PWI moments. What's that? Predominantly white moments. Oh, predominantly white moments. Okay. Okay, so we're trying to get away from those type of moments, right? All right. Any parties going on tonight? Well, I'm going to ABE, which is an all-black event, and they moved it down to Portsmouth, so I'll be there. Okay, okay. Now, how do you think, you say you believe in the Bible, right? How does God feel about homecoming and, you know, all the drinking and the predominantly black event and the things that are going to happen after the predominantly black event? How does God feel about those things? Well, I think it's more about the principle and not like, you know, you know, the different communities doing whatever because like he wants like he wants unity and not like diverse you know not diversity but division you say God doesn't want division no are you sure I'm sure 100% sure I'm sure he loves everybody 
Yeah. Does he? Not just, you know, black people. Okay. What uh, what if the Bible said something different? How would you feel about that? I mean... It's written by man at the same time, so it's like. So the Bible's not not true. It's not necessarily like accurate. You have to like take it up with the source, if that makes sense. Okay, so the Bible doesn't speak on behalf of God, is what you're saying? No, I mean like sometimes the things that they say probably isn't like necessarily like accurate enough. Okay. What? Want to like get to know like more deeper meanings for like things that they read in the Bible that doesn't make sense to them. I got you. So let me, let me ask you a question. The kingdom of heaven. You want to go to the kingdom of heaven, right? How many gates are the kingdom of heaven? There's only one. There's one for everybody, right? For everybody. Okay, but for different nations of people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I want to read a scripture to you in Revelation about the kingdom of heaven. I just want, I'm just curious if you read it before. Is that all right? Yeah. And then we'll wrap it up after that. Okay. All right. Let's get Revelation 21 and 12 about the kingdom of heaven. Because we all want to go to the kingdom of heaven. Somebody, the person you were waiting on, they're here now, they're giving you the eye. Oh, yeah, she like calling you over and stuff like that. Okay, this, this is the last one. I'm going to let you go, all right? All right, check this out. The book of Revelations, chapter 21 and verse 12. And had a great wall, and had a wall great and high. So the kingdom of heaven had a wall great and high. And had 12 gates. And at the gates. So 12 gates, not just one gate. And at the gates. Gates, 12 angels and names written thereon. So each gate had a name written on it. Which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Did you see that? I haven't read it like that, so I wouldn't have known, but thank you. Yeah, so the kingdom of heaven is only for the 12 tribes of Israel. Oh, okay. All right. And those people, what do they look like according to Jeremiah 14 and 2? Black. Those are black people. So we're just trying to bring awareness to our community about what the Bible says your true nationality is. You're an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. All right. Any final words for the people? Um, I don't think so. I mean, I hope we win. If we don't, I'm taking all my money back from their scholarship. Drink. They're going to drink, smoke, go to the game. Have a good time like that. All right. Go to a party. Same thing. Yeah. They probably just gonna drink, get high, go to parties. Go what are they gonna do at the party? Drink some more. <laughs> get high some more. And then after they leave the party. Go to bed. That's all they do. We'll go to the after party or go back to their dorm and go to bed. They going to bed by themselves? Nah. <laughs> That's not happening. Not tonight at the homecoming. Right. All right. All right, so y'all believe in the Bible, right? We just read the Bible. All right. How you think God feels about the homecoming? <laughs> sin. A whole bunch of sin. But God forgives sin, though, if you ask for forgiveness, right? If you repent, doesn't God give you forgive you? You asking me the question? I thought I was interviewing you. <laughs> All right, yes, God does forgive sin, right. right? But if you continue to do the same thing, are you going to continue to get forgiveness for that? Uh, no, nah, you wouldn't deal with your child that way. Yes. All right, so back to me asking the questions now. Hey, All right, now you good. All right, how you think God feels about the homecoming? Like he said, I mean, like he said, it's, it's going to be a lot of sin in the night, but like... <laughs> <laughs> it is, it is, it is, because a lot of people gonna be doing a lot of people gonna be doing hey, bad, hey. a lot of people gonna be doing a lot of bad things tonight. Just because it's just because it's homecoming, right? All right. So I mean, the God in me, I mean, um, I don't really know how I feel because that's somebody else doing it. It's not me. So the God in me. Yeah. How does the God in you feel about what your people will be doing to celebrate the homecoming? Uh, I don't know. Uh, what about you, sis? How does the God in you feel about how your people will be celebrating the homecoming tonight? I mean, I don't really have an opinion on it because, like, I, you can't really control what somebody else is doing. And, like, I don't really want to stress on what they're doing. I mean, me personally, I wouldn't do that, but I can't really stress about what everybody else is doing because I can't really control it ultimately. So, yeah. 
Should we care about it? I mean, yeah, you can care, but stressing over it or trying to say, everybody, don't do this, don't do that, don't do this, that's going to make them do it even more. Or they're just going to ignore you. So it's really, I mean, they just got to come into it themselves, to be honest. You can't really change that. Right, well, we, we, we can't force anybody to do nothing, but we can incite a level of care in people because these things aren't happening in the Chinese community. They're not happening in the Jewish community, right? Because they care and hold each other accountable and they don't just let their people dress a certain way. They don't do that. They don't let their people work certain jobs, right? They don't let their people eat certain things, even to their diet, because there's a level of care. So if they had the same mindset that we have, where they just step back and said, I can't just can't judge that person or they gotta find it on their own, would their communities be what it is today, as, as great as it is? I'm talking about the Chinese community, the Jewish community. Would you think it would be as great as it is today? No. So I heard it's a little all-black event, so I think I'm a, you know. Out in Portsmouth? Yeah, yeah, slide by there for a little bit, see what it's talking about. Okay, all right, that's, what, that's where we're going? Uh, getting a little tipsy, man, popping out a little bit, something, something. All right, popping out, popping out, what that mean? You popping pills or you just drinking? Oh, hey, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. Just just a little drinking. No, you just drink a little pitting, you know what I'm saying? Look clothes on, look right. Christ turned water into wine, so drinking is all right. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But we ain't gonna get drunk though, right? So, right, right, right. All okay. The yeah. All the moderation. I like that. These brothers are right. these brothers are right. <laughs> all right, so we all believe in the Bible. We all know what's happening tonight. We all know what goes down homecoming. How does God feel about the things that happen at homecoming? <laughs> I mean, it's, all sins are forgiven. Am I right? <laughs> I mean, I mean, all sins are forgiven, but you have, but but you have to, you have to follow the rules and go by some rule. So you gotta, you know, sin bigger than the next sin. You know what I'm saying? As long as I repent, I should. If I actually mean it, you know what I'm saying? I should be good. And what was that last part? If what? Repent. If, if you actually what? Repent, and I actually mean it. If, 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 for forgiveness. If you actually mean it. So if you actually meant it, that would mean you probably wouldn't keep doing it over and over again, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. All right. So the Bible tells us we got to repent and we got to mean it, right? That's the only way we're going to be forgiven for our sins, all right? Let me get, let me get one last scripture. Give me Acts 3.19. Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Because all the bad things that we've done in this earth in the short years we've been living. We were born in sins. So like right, but we don't want to die in our sins, right? Right. All right, so read this for The book of Acts chapter 3 and verse 19. Uh -huh. Repent ye therefore and and be converted. So that's what we got to do. We got to repent and be converted. Convert from being the one that used to get drunk to one to just get just enough in moderation. Right? <laughs> that your sins may be blotted out. That's what that's what we all want. We want our sins to be blotted out. I did a lot of wicked stuff back in the day. But I need all that to be blotted out and I need to do the right thing now. Read. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Right. So thank you for that. So the people want to know how we felt about HBCUs, PWIs, Kanye West. We appreciate y'all's thoughts. Any final words for the people? Um, if you out here enjoying homecoming weekend, man, y'all be safe. Yeah, y'all be safe, man. All right, come on. Just be safe. That's the that's the main. You know what I'm saying? The main subject to get across. Just be safe. All right. Be blessed. Just live life. Be blessed. Live life. Repent and mean it when you do it. Right. <laughs> All right. All right. Shalom, family. Most high in Christ. Bless, Officer Yehosh. We're here recording live from Cuts for the Streets. Who I got with me? Officer Caillou. Officer Caillou. Now, we just wrapped up Cuts from the Streets right here at Old Dominion University. They're having their homecoming right now. Homecoming game happening right now. Tailgate just finished. And ODU is not an HBCU, but it has a very, very large Israelite presence. All right. I think the stats were 47% white, but it's 27% just for the tribe of Judah and then like another 20% I think maybe for a northern kingdom or something like that so it's close to being a predominantly Israelite institution not a predominantly black but it's, it's getting close to being a predominantly Israelite institution so we wanted to know um, what these institutions are doing for our community the, the answer is nothing and we also wanted to know what the people thought about Kanye West statement and we didn't only want to know what our people thought we also wanted to know what the so-called oppressor thought. Can you comment on that for me, officer? Right. So, uh, 
you know, initially, um, we we did interview Esau. All right, we we interviewed quite a few Edomites here, and uh, you know, initially they were saying that Kanye West was crazy. All right, but after speaking with them, going to the Bible, uh, discussing uh, different things that's going on in our communities, they were able to see that Kanye West's statement is supported with the Bible. All right, and that we are the are the true Jews. All right, um, we went from being slaves to Jews. All right. We're going to sign out. Until next time, family. Shalom. We'll sign Christ bless. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example.